Richie Ed has. Congratulations. Finished the show. A little bit of style there. You must be happy with that performance. Yeah, I, I didn't know how good it was until I just got told, but I was happy upstage, on stage, it felt good, but I didn't know how good. So, yeah, I'm happy with it. What's it like when John McDonald's introduced you as the reigning European champion here? That's in literally Atlanta? the first time it's hit me properly. I said that. If, if he would introduce me like that, that's going to hit me. And it did. It, it was nice, obviously. The, the crowd loved it, and so did I. So. <laughs> What's life been like since Dortmund and, and winning your maiden TV title? I've got to be honest, I don't, I've done nothing. I literally, my missus went on a deal, so I was just sitting there watching films all week. <laughs> you know what I mean, I'd literally done nothing. It's been the best week of my life. You went to the Pro Tour and you said that you didn't really, really want to. And we obviously spoke the way Mike De Decker. Did it hit you in yeah. the same way it did him when you went there? Yeah, I mean, I had a bit of a head cold as well. And on the, the first day, I, I couldn't stop coughing. It's no excuse. I, I, I probably shouldn't have gone. But in, in, for me, just keep the arm going. But yeah, the second day, I've done all right. So, more cup games, but I shouldn't have gone. It's just giving you the hunger now to add to that collection. Honestly, mate, I think I can win everything. Obviously, you can't. Oh, you're going to lose to someone, but in my head, I can win. I can win everything. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Richie, I haven't had the chance to speak to you since that that European Tour victory. Um, life-changing moments, really, getting a, a major title under your belt. How has it changed, and how do you think it will change going forwards? It, at this time, it's. It's not changed much, obviously, okay. apart from the media side of it. Yeah. I'm looking into, obviously, the money-wise. I'm, I'm going to do investing or whatever. But yeah, enough, at the moment, it's just, just, just same on me. Yeah. I guess confidence-wise as well, it makes a huge difference. Just proving to yourself and knowing that you can do it. You'll have always had it in the back of your head. I'm sure that you could do it, but just to have that, that proof out there. Yeah, I've always been one of these players that can go 105 average in an 80 next game. Yeah. At the moment, I'm doing it quite consistently bit of higher average. So, at the moment, yeah, it's I always said confidence is pretty confidence. Yeah. Spoke to Rob earlier about, obviously, group of death. It's been it's been named your group. Um, do you feel like it's a, a tough group to get through? Well, I mean, don't get me wrong. All groups are tough, but I, I don't think it's the group of death out of everyone. I think group H is ridiculously stupid. I mean, they're all quality players. They're all firing. I mean, yeah, I say every group's hard and every player's good. This format as well, we know you play best of 11 on the on the Pro Tour a lot of the time, but this is even more cutthroat than that. Is it a tough one to get used to? But I guess you've played this a lot in the, the local scene as well. Yeah, local, yeah. I mean, with this, you just got to, you got to start well. I mean, I've always been a slow start, but this mm -hmm. one, I've, you, you've got to kick off well. You've got to be one or two up. You've got to win that first leg, I think, personally. But, it's, yeah, it's just one of them. I think anyone, out of anyone, can win this whole thing. Certainly. Cheers, Richie. Thank you very much. Richie, is it a different feeling now walking into the players' room when you're walking in as a major champion? Only because they wind me up. They're all they're all wind ups. You know what I mean? But yeah, that no, is good. It's good because they're all congratulating me, especially in Leicester. It was lovely, but they are they're all wind ups. So. We talked about how it used to be a guy who went 105, 80. It's not like that anymore. It's 105, 97, 100. Can you put your finger on why there there is a change now? Because you've been on tour a long time. I put a lot more practice in. I've always been a lazy, lazy practitioner, but yeah, I don't know what has started that sort of up climb, but I just think it's just relax, rela re relaxation. How difficult has it been to sort of put the success of the European Championship behind you to focus on the Grand Slam now, but the events moving forward, it's a busy time of year. I've got a good missus that just, just literally <laughs> kicks my butt and goes, you've got to do this, you're on next one. Yeah, I mean, it, it is good. They just, she levels me out, so it's, it's quite good. And you've, since that win, and even before that win this year, you've been getting a lot more support. How special does that feel when you do hear the crowd like that and people chanting your name and see it on social media? People are really getting behind you now. For the European Tour, I didn't know how, not how, but it is how big I was in Germany, to be fair. Since I won that, and even before I got loads of, it's nice to have the support from the people. When you get the, is it Ed House Ultras? I've never really, yeah. I've got to keep getting told about them. I've never seen it, but yeah, it's, it's, it is lovely. I mean, for me, it's a little. Just, just normal dark power, just turn up and try and play. It's nice to have that kind of fan base. Cheers, Richard. Thank you. Thank you very much.